Today we are continuing our series on Granite Bay. We're talking all about the pros and cons of this city. This is one of the most highly sought after areas in all of Placer County, and we wanna break it down so you can decide if this could be the right place for you. I'm Lauren with L2 Home Group, and on this channel, we talk all about living in Northern California, as well as helpful tips for home buyers and sellers. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any content. If you're looking to buy or sell, we're here to help you. Granite Bay is one of the most highly sought after cities in all of Placer County. It's located between Folsom, Roseville, and Loomis, with part of it bordering beautiful Folsom Lake. If you're thinking about a potential move to Granite Bay, then stick around until the end of this video where we cover some of this city's cons and why you might not want to live here. All right, let's get to it, starting with our list of pros. Our first First pro to Granite Bay, California is this city literally has something for everyone. If you're looking for high-end luxury living in a 24-hour guard gate community, then look no further. Granite Bay has you covered with Los Lagos and the highly esteemed Wexford neighborhood. These are luxury mansion homes that offer luxury living at every turn. If you're looking for lake living with a view of beautiful Folsom Lake, Granite Bay has homes that sit on the top of the hill on Sierra Drive and Lakeshore Drive that offer stunning views of Folsom Lake and also offer entrances to some of the trails surrounding the lake. This neighborhood is a short drive from the boat launch at the main entrance to the lake. Granite Bay also offers track style housing across the city as well. You have the Monopoly neighborhood, Quail Oaks neighborhood, and many, many more. If you're interested in a new build, Granite Bay also has many new builds going in throughout the city, from Eureka Grove, Premier Salil, Carnelian, and Whitehawk, to name a few. If you're looking for acreage or more property with the opportunity for horses, Granite Bay has many homes like this down Auburn Folsom and is a great place that also offers close proximity to lake trails for awesome horseback riding. As you can see, Granite Bay has something for just about everyone. Our second pro on our list is Granite Bay is a lake community. This awesome city is located near the heart of Folsom Lake, a California state park with two entrances. One entrance is Granite Bay Main Entrance where you can launch boats from, and the other is Beals Point. Both of these entrances offer amazing trails that you can hike, run, walk, or bike on for miles. They also both offer swimmable beaches with lifeguards on duty during certain hours. You can also go camping at Folsom Lake. They have many campsites here. My family loves to go paddleboarding on Folsom Lake during the summer months. If an active outdoor lifestyle is what you are looking for, you definitely get that right here in Granite Bay. Our third pro on our list is education. If you have school-aged children and are looking for an awesome community that offers some of the best education in all of California for public education, then look no further than right here in Granite Bay. Granite Bay, you have the elementary school district known as the Eureka Union School District that covers kindergarten through eighth grade. Then for the high school district, you have Roseville Joint Union High School District, which is where the highly rated Granite Bay High School reports to. Many of these schools rank very highly on greatschools.org. In fact, Granite Bay High School rates a 10 out of 10, the highest in all of Placer County for high schools. Many of the elementary schools in this area rate very highly as well. Cabbage Junior High, Green Hills, and Oak Hills Elementary also all rate a 10 out of 10 in Granite Bay. I personally have three kids who have attended Granite Bay schools, two of which are right at Granite Bay High now, and one that is an elementary school. I can attest to how awesome these public schools are. Here in Granite Bay, your kids will get a great public education. If you have any questions on what the education system is like in Granite Bay, feel free to reach out to us or drop us a comment below. I'm more than happy to share with you our personal experiences with the Granite Bay School Districts. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with anyone who might be interested in learning more about Northern California and what it's like living here. All right, next up on our list of pros for Granite Bay is youth sports. If you have kids that you wanna get into awesome after-school rec leagues, youth sports, Granite Bay has a ton of options. You name the sport, they most likely have a league for it here in Granite Bay. You have the Granite Bay Gator swim team that practices out of the Granite Bay High School pool during the spring and summer. Granite Bay also has Junior Grizzly football and cheer that practices out of Granite Bay High School. There is a lacrosse with Granite Bay Youth Lacrosse League that practices out of the high school football field, Cabot Junior High School, Granite Bay Community Park, and Douglas Ranch Park. They also have soccer with Granite Bay FC that practices out of all the local parks in Granite Bay. Granite Bay has Lakeside Little League that also practices out of all the local parks. They also have California Republic Water Polo or Cal Rep, one of the only water polo clubs in the area that practices out of the Granite Bay High School pool. So if you're looking for an area that has a lot of youth recreational sports, Granite Bay has all of that as well. Our fifth pro that Granite Bay has to offer is Granite Bay has its own private golf club with the Granite Bay Golf Club. This is an awesome members only private course that offers amazing greens. 
The Granite Bay Golf Club is located off of East Roseville Parkway at 9600 Golf Club Drive. This is a fun and challenging course. Members here enjoy 18 meticulously maintained holes designed by Robert Trent Jones Jr. and Kyle Phillips. The private club does many special events for its members from yoga and mimosas, an annual summer luau, movie nights on the range, and so many more fun activities throughout the year. They also have private dining, access to private meeting rooms, and access to 200 clubs. Needless to say, this is an awesome course and one definitely worth being a member of if you live here in Granite Bay. Our sixth pro is how close you are to Sacramento. If you live in Granite Bay and you have to drive into Sacramento for work, it's only about a 25 minute drive, so it's really not that bad. If you have to fly out of Sacramento International Airport, it's about 30 minutes. So again, it's really not that bad for community to Sacramento. Our seventh pro on our list is you are close to medical centers if you need one. With Roseville right next to Granite Bay, you are a quick 10 minute car ride to Sutter Roseville Medical Center and the same 10 minute drive to Kaiser Roseville if you need medical help. So if you need medical help, it's close by in Roseville. Last on our list of pros is the food here in Granite Bay. Granite Bay has a few awesome restaurants such as Farmhouse down Auburn Folsom Road, Dominic's out by the lake, and Hawks in the Quarry Ponds. They even have a brand new axe throwing bar called Get Axe if you're looking for a fun date night in Granite Bay. So if you're looking to stay in town and grab a bite or go out on a date night, Granite Bay has some great options close by. On to our list of cons. The first con for Granite Bay is affordability. Because Granite Bay is a highly sought after area for multiple reasons, stemming from the education system to luxury high end living to lake living, homes in this area are significantly higher in cost than other local and neighboring cities. So to buy into this area, you will have to pay more. However, homes in this area hold their value really well. So while it might cost more to get in, it is good to know that this area holds its value well for the long haul. Con number two for Granite Bay is the wildfire season. In California, we have wildfires. While wildfires don't hit Granite Bay, the smoke from them does, which means bad air quality and outdoor activities being canceled during this time. While I wouldn't say this is a reason not to live here, it is something to be aware of. Con number three is walkability. Granite Bay is a suburb and it is not a highly walkable area. While we do have some trails and some neighborhoods have sidewalks, not all areas in Granite Bay do have them. Living in Granite Bay, you will need a car to accomplish mostly all of your tasks, from grocery shopping to errands. Con number four is allergies. Sacramento is known for being the city of trees. Granite Bay also has a ton of foliage and trees. And if you move here from out of town, there is a good chance you might develop allergies in this area. However, it's not usually something that an allergy pill can't take care of. Our last con for Granite Bay, con number five, is zero nightlife. I mean, zero. This is a smaller city with a suburban feel that doesn't have much that goes on after 9 p.m. So if you're looking for a nightlife, you will have to travel into Sacramento for more of that. That concludes our list of pros and cons for Granite Bay, California. If you've been to Granite Bay, tell us about what some of your favorite things are about this awesome city down below. Or if you've never been here but want to learn more, reach out to us either by dropping us a comment below or shoot us a text message at 916-644-0661. We'd love to show you all around and help make your next move as easy as possible.